Welcome to Blind Man Outdoors. I'm Dave, and I've been exploring my whole life, from my hometown in the Blind Man River Valley to the jungles of South America. Four years ago, I left an old life behind to chase a passion full time. Now, I built Canada's Yucapac Camper and the Alberta Outdoor Adventure Expo, all while continuing to explore and experience the great outdoors. You see, I believe we're called to live free and be wild. And if you do too, then this is the place for you. Anything driving directly into that sunlight. Here, I'm just in the middle of nowhere, Saskatchewan, and this guy is on a bike trip. He left Banff a few weeks, ago, a couple weeks ago, going all the way up to northwestern Ontario, and it's September. So I don't know how far he's gonna get, but. He said he's traveled on that specific bike with all that gear, not just through Canada, twice, but um, Saskatchewan as well. And he lives, that's the lifestyle that he lives. He's, um, he's a bike packer. And that's the definition of a nomad lifestyle. I love meeting other travelers and adventurers on the route, so. was a success although I'm pretty sure I had a hat when I came here and now I don't know where I put it sounds so bad <laughs> all right so one of the things that I try to make sure that I do as a business owner is as often as I can I want to make sure that the people that I do business with know that I appreciate them and so we just stopped off here at LST LST does our gas springs for all of our campers um, custom pressures custom sizes they can pretty much do it all. This is probably the single most important business meeting I've had in my business since I started. With the brand continuing to grow, one of the main things I've identified is that I can't build the brand and the product simultaneously at the same time. We also really wanted to make sure that we were partnering with someone who had the background and experience within the engineering of a camper like this so they could make improvements where we otherwise don't see them and ultimately build a better product. So with that being said, we are on our way back to Alberta. We've got to get some stuff done. There's still a lot of work ahead of us and I am absolutely stoked that this turned out the way that it did and I'm very much looking forward to the rest of the year. But for now, there's a few things we got to get done at the shop and we're a ways away so let's get going. All right guys, we've made it to camp. We're actually just on, sitting at a boat launch right now. Normally where people park their trailers and I figured it being during the weekday in September, this would be a good place to uh, to camp for the night. There is a campground further down the road, and there are people at it. So people are taking advantage of the fact that it's absolutely beautiful out right now. We are no exception. We are also taking advantage of that same fact by being able to roll this work trip 
without having to spend any money on hotels. Ooh, that's 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 to grandpa. I know they say it's a full pot of poor whiskey back in the bottle, but goddamn. We're not out here to wreck anybody's life. We're just gonna hang out. We're gonna listen to an audiobook right down here in camp and hang out. We might even turn these lights off so that the bugs get more attracted to the other lights. I hadn't actually gone through my cabinets to see what's actually in here so kind of going through them right now I've got my knot card here um, that guy is actually not supposed to be in there so that is actually a, a flare launcher so that's the pen launcher that's the flare for it inside here we've got six more of those flares that's just a center fire um, so six more of those uh, I've got a belt in here I've got a sewing kit. Always, always, always have a sewing kit around. Uh, you do not realize how convenient these little dollar store sewing kits can be. Uh, I've got some vitamin C and D3s. And I'm actually going to put that guy where he belongs, which is over here with the bear spray. Yes. Um, and then I've got my Spanish book. I keep this book in my truck or in my camper. At all times for one reason uh, I'm extremely impulsive at times when it comes to traveling and so I know the day is gonna come where I'm just literally not gonna drive home from getting groceries or something one day and end up driving through South America um, so that's that's why this is in here just in case I end up spending a considerable amount of time down there than I think and of course because they are our neighbors to the south I've got the Lonely Planet USA book as well I don't need the Canadian one I live here, um, and so I know a lot of cooler places than you're probably going to find in these books. So I'm not bragging, but I'm just saying. Um, yeah, so, and then in here, in this guy, we've just got camping basics, right? We got an extra stove for the, uh, an extra canister for the stove. We've got some batteries, some hand warmers down there. Got some bug spray, an extra light. I've got some packages for my lantern. Oh, let's see here if I can find them. Yeah, so I got these for my lantern. Um, and then obviously I've got a headlight as well. This is an old black diamond headlight. Um, yeah, toilet paper, obviously. And that just goes in my yucca pack cabinet right there on my left-hand side. And uh, these can go back in here. I will have to put some more gear in here. I thought I had, uh, thought I actually had more than this. And there's a few things that are supposed to be in here currently that are not in here. And that's a no bueno. That's a no bueno. So, put that in there like that. We'll put that in there like that. That goes between the two. And this goes in there like that. And things are really snug in there, right? Like there's these lips here, and a lip here, and a lip here, and a lip on the other side. So as long as you stuff things in there, um, you know, you're not things aren't going to fall over. And then even if they do, you've got some pretty heavy-duty snaps over here that just cover your cabinet covers. So you can hit your brakes or whatever, and your cabinet stuff's not going to pull away. Oh, yeah, the journal. 
I don't know what I'm gonna what I'm gonna do with this thing. I got this thing for Christmas once, and uh, it's just always sat in the truck. So maybe when I decide to do that, oh hello, did I write stuff and things in here? Ooh, I saw a page, didn't you? I'm pretty sure I saw a page. Weird. I'm gonna have to look at this footage again when I'm editing it and see where that page went. There it is. Oh, that's a journal entry, folks. Nope, that's not going on the internet. Anyway. This will someday hold the story I write when I need to use that Spanish translation book. Maybe it'll be when I drive this thing to South America and then sail a boat back to BC. Who knows? See you guys in the morning. All right, guys, it's time to get back to work. <clears throat> I appreciate you guys following me on this adventure. If you guys like stuff like this, I'm gonna encourage you to hit that like and subscribe button down below. Really excited, but we're gonna get back to work because we gotta send some orders over now to get some campers made and get this ball rolling. So until you guys see me again, live free, be wild, and we'll see you guys in the next one.